Without a bit of drama oh. in the build-up. Speaking of drama, one of the BT50s, and that's down at turn four. So at the top of Wakefield Street, halfway between there and turn five at Flinders. It looks like Ryle Harris's colours. You can't see a lot from there. I'm sure that the flag marshals are out waving yellows madly. Left bit of a pause. Side. I can see a red flag in the background there. There we go. That's confirmed that. So never like to see incidents like this. Some of the pausing for me is coming from... There we go. It's so Cameron. It does... It's his teammate, Aaron Cameron. It's gone over on his side. He is jumping out of that vehicle, so we do like to see that. Making sure that the driver is safe. Again, some of the efforts that have been put in by not only supercars, but the teams. And the cross-referencing with supercars, the main series, as well as this ECB Super Utes category, is that we're going to learn from some of the safety aspects across all categories. Jeez, that was a hard hit. Just got the cut, the Ute uh, crossed up, didn't he? Across, this will be better for us to see from the wall cam. We're trying to correct it. Got the tire walls, broke the left front, and put it onto its side. In the end, it was a fairly soft roll onto the side, so he'll be perfectly fine. A bit of work to do for the Peters Motorsport team. Two-car outfit, the Mazda BT50 team with three-time V8 Utes champion Ryle Harris, who was quickest this morning. So we normally see Ryle in those bush range colours. I've been caught out by it. Ryle in the black, red and green car for